Welcome back to Learning to Read with Me. Today we're going to read A Very Corgi Christmas by Sam Hay and Loretta Shower. It was Christmas Eve and Buckingham Palace was a flurry of activity. There were comings and goings, toings and froings, and people here, there and everywhere. The royal corgis were not amused. Too much fuss, too much chatter, too much bother. But one young corgi was excited. Belle loved all of the Christmas preparations. A little too much. Stop getting in the way, the older dogs barked at her. Christmas is not for corgis. Belle crept off to her basket. I wish Christmas was for corgis, she thought. It looks such fun. Just then, a snowflake drifted in from the open window and landed on her nose. It smelt magical. In the distance, she could see hundreds of bright, twinkling lights. They looked dazzling. And on the streets, there were so many people and dogs hustling and bustling. It sounded exciting. Everyone out there seems to be enjoying Christmas, Belle thought. So perhaps that's where I should go. And she slipped through an open door into the back of a van. Oh, thought Belle, this really is exciting. Vroom! When the van stopped, the doors opened and Belle tumbled out. She blinked and gasped. The world outside the palace was bright, a bit too bright. And busy, so busy. And loud, very loud, far too loud. Beeping, brooming and creaking. Hello, said a kind voice. Are you lost? Belle looked up into a warm, furry face with a smudgy nose and twinkly, crinkly eyes. I'm Pip, said the dog. I'm Belle, said Belle, and I'm not sure I like it here. Really? But this is London, and it's Christmas, so it's double the fun. I'll show you. They hitched a ride and flew in the sky. They saw some tick-tock places, bing-bong, bing-bong, and found some snuggly places. Pip made everything sparkly and special. I'm staying here with you forever, Belle declared. That would be lovely, Pip smiled, but won't your family be worried? Belle thought about home, about her kind, caring family and the cosy corgi cuddles at night. Pip was right. They would be worried. But getting back into Buckingham Palace wasn't going to be easy. You see, I'm not supposed to be outside, Belle explained. Don't worry, said Pip with a wink. Where there's a waggy tail, there's a way. First, they tried climbing the walls, with a bit of help from Pip's pals. Next, they tried sneaking in with the soldiers. Halt! Nothing worked, but Belle had one last idea. It involved something that she had never, ever tried before. Litter bin raiding. Then they hid in the shadows until a long black car drove up to the palace gates and... Woof! Belle and Pip jumped out. They waggled their flags and tooted and hooted and made a humongous hullabaloo. Then one of the windows opened. It's Belle, said the voice from inside the car. And who's that other dog with her? 
Let's take them inside. Come on, Pip, Belle called. I can't wait for you to meet my family. But Pip had gone. Everyone was so happy to see Belle at, back at Buckingham Palace. Perhaps Christmas can be for corgis, they woofed. But Belle couldn't stop thinking about Pip. So she looked up into the starry sky and made a wish. It was Christmas morning and Buckingham Palace was a flurry of activity. There were treats and gifts and wonderful surprises. But the biggest and most wonderful surprise of all was for Belle. Pip! Merry Christmas, Belle! Which just goes to show, sometimes wishes do come true. That was A Very Corgi Christmas by Sam Hay and Loretta Shower. Thank you for learning to read with me and Merry Christmas.